your attention is deviated from your main task, which is to, to be in charge of a vehicle that's moving at high speed, that extra little split second will slow down your reaction time, doing simple things like slowing down the vehicle by putting on brakes, being able to avoid the worst part of a crash. The brain is basically an attention machine. The front part of the brain has to be active and, and very much involved in driving because the subconscious brain doesn't know that driving out of a lane is going to cause a problem. The rear parts of the brain are much more involved in observing the world around and building a model uh, from the senses. It was very exciting to uh, meet with Jeff and, and have those early discussions about what we can see in the brain and what inattention really is and how we can measure and how we can test against it. Dr. Jeff is using um, some form of neuroimaging, um, looking at the, uh, the electrical activity across the scalp. We actually use uh, this device, which is uh, the emotive EPROP EG headset. There are sensors located all around the head. We can detect the amount of activity that's going on in all the different areas and we can tell what kinds of activity are happening in the brain. We're looking at things like blink rate, blink duration, uh, gaze rate, so how long they look at a point, uh, and also frequency of task switching um, and the level uh, of brain activity when they flick over to those tasks. So it's, it's a huge pool of data. We're now at a point where our software interprets the information coming from the equipment and produces an output that says the person is distracted or, or they're not. If someone lost attention and they switched task to, let's say, reading their mobile phone, uh, or even if they just zoned out, it would usually be represented by a very sharp dip and sometimes very erratic behaviour. That's one of the strongest points that we've come out with in the study, is that attention switching is a very good indication of distraction. This is what we've found. This is, this is what's important. These are the things that you need to consider when you get behind the wheel so that you won't be distracted and you will pay full attention to the road. The technology itself is you know, innovative and world leading. I think the other side is the human side and just um, all of us who drive on the roads in Western Australia learning more about inattention. Inattention is something that all of us can relate to. Those times our mind wanders, we do the wrong thing, we turn around and talk to the kids in the back or our mate next door. So we're really keen to encourage all of us to think about the way we drive and that's why this project's very important to us.